Today I have a very special guest on my podcast. This woman came to me with a lot of knee pain and she walked into the office today pretty much dancing around and saying that we pretty much stopped her from having a knee replacement, right? So let's call her Mrs. S. And uh, Mrs. S, um, you're going to tell us uh, a little bit about how you came to us, how you found us, um, what your experience was prior to coming, why you came. And then uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions so that our listeners can understand the dynamics of the healthcare system and how, unfortunately, corrupt the system can be um, when you don't really understand that there are so solutions outside of what a doctor or a surgeon might offer you. There are always options to heal your body in a natural way, but most patients or customers, clients would not know about these things if they didn't listen to uh, podcasts like mine that are opening up their eyes. I have bone and bone and I need knee replacement. A lot of pain, having a lot of pain, cannot walk, walk properly. Get up in the morning, you stiff, your foot stiff, you sore. And one nurse I went to work one morning, walking, dragging my foot, dragging, naturally dragging my feet. One nurse called me and she said, uh, Ma'am, I used to walk like that and I went to this place. No hesitation. I took the picture, called the place and I came here. So you're, you were at the hospital um, and a friend, uh, somebody just randomly called you out and said, Go to All Care, yes. um, the All Care PT on Avenue P, which is our office, and said, you know, I went there, they should be able to help you, right? Yes. So they randomly saw you limping around. Yes. What were you, my foot. you? What were you like before you came here? Tell us the limitations. You had a, you said you had a, a meniscus uh, removed in your knee. Yes, I had the meniscus tear and I got surgery on it. When was the surgery? Uh, two thousand twenty. Okay, so 2020, you had a meniscus uh, a repair. Yes. They went in there, they scoped it out, they removed it. And then uh, before that, you and then the pain started coming on again? Eight, about eight months after, bad pain, can't walk, have to leave my job, crying, pain. Not bad, huh? Even it, after the surgery? Yes, hmm. eight months after the eight surgery. Eight months. How old are you? I am 56 years old. So you're young, you're used to play uh, soccer, you were an athletic woman. Yes. Wanted to go back and, and you, you were limping around. Yes. So you get your meniscectomy, like many of you out there who may be on the fence, uh, should you get a knee replacement? Should you not? Should you get a meniscectomy? So this woman had a meniscectomy and got the pain back eight months after severe pain, almost leaving her job, yes. having to quit work. Yes. So then what happens? You have to go get some shots. You said some so, gel. Some gel. So the, the, you flex the, you flex you the flex gel. The I did it three times, okay. three years straight. Okay. Now I didn't, you know, want to take the gel anymore, so I decided to go back to the doctor. The doctor said I need knee replacement. Now I came to this place, that's you, and Lord hear me, I am so happy. I can walk, I can run, no more pain. So you said on the first visit, you walked in here limping in, in pain. Yes. And uh, what happened on that first visit? And the, after the first visit with all the procedure that I got, I felt I get to run out of this place, run out, naturally run out. I felt so much energy and so much, you know, I feel so much better myself. Is this a true story? Are you making this up? No, sir. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, I she came to me today myself. and was so happy. Mm -hmm. um, she's jumping around and showing me how she can bend her knee and that her leg was terrible prior. Couldn't but really. what did the surgeons tell you before you got, got here? You had the meniscectomy and you had three surgeons? Check yes. you out, two, three orthopedic surgeons, and each one said you had bone on bone. Knee, knee replacement. Knee replacement, right? Knee replacement, walk away from me, three. knee replacement. Three, three separate doctors. Yes. They don't know each other. Nope. Wow, okay. Now I am so happy. And the x-ray shows that the bones are touching each other. Yes. So you had the um, you had the laser inject laser uh, trial with us on that first day, yes. and we did the test treatment. Yes. Um, uh, to, to increase blood flow to the knee and we did some exercises and all and uh, you tried the neurocorrective method and you said even after the first day you're like looking to run out of the office and jumping around yes. and all today would be what your sixth time or something today or it's my fifth time fifth time yes and uh, you, I checked your knee today and it's flexing 100% 
Here, Full I, range of movement. I can lift my foot so high now. I'm so happy. Yeah, no you, pain. No pain. So happy. So, you. Um, you know, what would you tell other people that are been told by their doctors, oh, yeah, just go get a knee replacement because the bone on bone on the, on the x-ray. Should you trust what the x-ray says and what the doctors are telling you or should you, you know, what should you tell these other people I out there? I would tell them try this place. Oh, okay. Come to this place, try it for yourself, and you be your own judge. Come try it. And, and, and it, did I tell you to give me my this endorsement today? No. Did you come in here and say, hey, pay me to say this endorsement? No, sir. I am telling you how I feel honestly, how my body feels. And I thank you, thank you, thank you. 